Myrtle biologist Lori Erb is looking for a needle in a haystack. Somewhere in this New England meadow are North America's tiniest and rarest turtles. The endangered bog turtles are in no rush to be found. As she continues her search for bog turtles, Lori comes upon a nest from last year. You can see that um, inside of the moss, uh, on top of a hummock here, they have laid some eggs and there's a, actually a piece of a, an eggshell left. Finally, Lori finds what she's looking for. Not one, but two bog turtles mating. A common behavior in many turtles, the male nips at the female's head during mating. The male suddenly realizes he's being watched, and Lori pounces before the pair can dive into the mud. The male's awfully shy now. <laughs> so this is the male, has the concave plastron, and the female has a flat plastron, and a shorter tail, though her tail's also been chewed off by a predator, but his tail is quite thicker and larger. Star bursting pattern on some of her scutes there. I'm sure he does too, although it's hidden by some of the staining from the water and the iron bacteria. Yep, there's damage there and in the back here too. What might cause that damage? Uh, it's hard to know. Probably an injury when it uh, was younger possible, you know, when there were grazing animals in here, maybe something stepped on her. Lori notes the turtle's exact location using a GPS unit. Both bog turtles are already known to Lori. Each is identified by a series of harmless notches on its shell. So when they're young, you can really distinguish um, individual growth rings on each of the scutes on the carapace and the plasteron. So each of these are scutes and they're essentially scales because they are reptiles. And so each year they put on roughly one growth ring. And so you can estimate roughly the age based on how many rings there are. And so in addition, as they're going through their habitat, these guys like to burrow. And so over time, it starts to wear them smooth. And so the really old individuals, you start to be able to, or it's so smooth, it's difficult to distinguish the individual rings. There are only a few tiny populations of bog turtles left in this corner of New England. Lori Erb and other biologists are doing the hard work down in the mud to ensure the bog turtle's survival.